Hi, third graders, Mrs. Peters here, and I want to talk to you some more about our calendar grid for December. So we were introduced to it. Of course, we wanted to pay close attention to the 18th, which is the last day before Christmas break, and of course, the 25th, which is Christmas Day. But we were taking a look at the first calendar pieces, and we were predicting what will the next calendar piece look like? Several students um, predicted it would look like this. And some of you wondered, well, why would they say that? How did they predict that? So we talked about that bottom number or the denominator on a fraction. That number is going to tell us how many pieces the whole is going to be shared into, how many equal pieces. So if the bottom number is two, we would go, oh, well, the whole is going to be two of those, because this is shared into two equal pieces. And we could call both of those a one half. So that is what day two looked like. And we could label them as one halves. We could also write an equation to match it. We could say that one half plus or added to another one half is going to be equal to two halves. Very cool. So then we took some time to think, hmm, what will the next calendar piece look like if day three looks like this? So think, like what happened on days one and two? And what do we already know about fractions? In Mrs. Peter's class, we think about using patterns as uh, the red ninja belt. So noticing patterns and using them to solve new problems. Let's see what we can do here. So I asked you to use a whiteboard and draw a picture of what you think day four will look like. And I want to show you some examples of students from Mrs. Peter's class. So you might see your work here or you might see work that uh, looks like your thinking. I was pretty impressed with what people were trying to do, what students were doing thinking about patterns and thinking about what they already know about fractions. I see in, uh, somebody wrote two thirds, which makes me think they're using that counting number that we had a one third and now we're gonna have two thirds. I also noticed some people thinking about one fourth because I, there was that uh, pattern you could think about where you have a half and then you would have a third and then maybe we're gonna have a fourth. So a lot of good thinking in all of these. So let's see, what do you think it's gonna look like? There it is. I wonder, was your prediction different? Or was it similar to day four? What do you think day five might look like? Again, think about any pattern that you're noticing in this work. Here it comes. There is day five. So I want you to stop for a second and I want you to think, what do you notice? What do you notice that you think your classmates should also be noticing? Here are some examples of things that students have noticed. So one student said there are three equal size pieces on day five. Another student noticed that day five is a square, just like on day two. Another student said, I noticed that the bottom number of the fraction on day three is three, and that on day five, there are three equal pieces. Remember, that is what that bottom number is about. It tells us, well, how many equal pieces is that whole gonna be divided into? So remember, the top number of a fraction is the numerator. It's the how many number. It is always one in a unit fraction. But the bottom number, the denominator, is the kind of fraction number, or 
how many equal parts the whole is divided into. So that three tells us the whole is going to be shared into or divided into three equal parts. We could write an equation that says one third and one third and one third is equal to or has the same value as three thirds. And then we can also say that three thirds is equal to one. All right, here is day six. This is from Sunday, December 6th. Think about what we've learned so far. What will the next calendar piece look like? Again, you're gonna get a chance to use your whiteboard to draw a picture of what you think day four will look like. Take a photo and upload it into the next slide. Fabulous work. See you soon.